Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about ohms. Ohm. You know I was gonna make the joke, ohm. Okay, this is gonna be a fast video and you will be ohms masters uh, within minutes. So, from now on, all I want you to do is picture tube amplifiers as car engines. In that analogy, then speaker cables are tires and speakers are the road. Now, if that's true, imagine what would happen to your car if you took it on blocks and floored it. Well, it would burn up the engine because it didn't have any resistance. That's the road. The road is the resistance. Puts pressure, or puts resistance on the tires, right? The tires gotta push against it. Okay, so tube amplifiers need resistance because without it, they go out of control and they burn up. In other words, just think of the RPMs. They're just getting really, really too hot and they melt down. So we know we need resistance. Okay, well, how do we know what ohms to pick? Here's the rule that you'll fit forever, hopefully remember forever. Picture ohms as sumo wrestlers. If an amp has a four ohm output, it says it's looking for four sumo wrestlers. Well, it needs that minimum of resistance, four. Well, that means eight would be good and 16 would be good as well because it's saying it needs at least four sumo wrestlers. So more sumo wrestlers, the better, because the more resistance, yeah, the less the, the, the engine gets to put, put out, in other words, you can't go as fast, in other words, in an amp fire, you can't get as loud, but you also can't burn it up, which is what we're going after in this scenario. We're not trying to destroy our amplifiers. So the rule is, if it says it wants four sumo wrestlers, you can do four sumos, eight sumos, or 16 sumo wrestlers. If it says eight, you can do eight or 16. And if it says 16, what's well, telling you it needs an army, a 16, it needs 16 sumo wrestlers, so you can't run into four because it's not enough resistance and the amplifier will burn up because it's gonna run too hot. So that's pretty easy to remember, right? Just remember that, the more the better. Now, the last thing to remember is what happens if you're at a gig or in a certain situation and you don't know what the cabinet's rated at and you don't know what to do with the head and you have a switch on the head. I always find it safe, I've never blown an amp in 27 years, always pick eight out. Here's why, because eight can go into eight or 16, so you've covered two of the bases on the, on the cabinet, which is good, and what if the cabinet is four? Well, it's only by half, so therefore, as long as you don't push the amp too hard and too long, your amp should be safe. Again, it's not an ideal situation, and I'm not telling you it's okay to do that, I'm just telling you that in that situation, that is the best option. So, that scenario, always run your amp and doubt, eight out, if you're really in doubt and you don't know what's going on. Otherwise, always match them up, 16 to 16, eight to eight or four to four, or you can always go more. So you know, one of the benefits of going more, in other words, taking an eight ohm output and putting in a 16 inch or 16 ohm cabinet, is that because of the more sumo wrestlers, the resistance, the amplifier, it distorts a little more, gets a little darker, and your amplifier, you could actually turn your volume knob up a little higher and get less output because it's got more resistance, but that's okay because the amp likes it. It doesn't mind the resistance. Again, don't think of it the other way around. It's not, it's not bad. So the more sumo wrestlers, the better, which means the more ohms, the better. All right, guys, as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.